Hi, I'm Pete. I'm the owner of Brinson Marine. And in this video, we're going to talk about wheel in docks and where they work really well, and then some situations where they might not be the best fit for you. I'm standing next to Shoremaster TS9. Uh, it's a truss style dock. Uh, it works really well with a set of wheels on the end of two 16 foot sections put together. So for a total of 32 feet at a time, you can wheel in the whole unit. Uh, one reason it works well compared to some other brands is that our panels are removable and by doing that you lessen the weight, uh, make it easy for even one person to stand at the end opposite the wheels and kind of push and pull the dock in as need be. If you've got a dock system where the panels are permanently attached like most of the other brands, then you're going to have a heavy dock and you might need at least two people to pick up that end of a 32 foot section as you're trying to struggle with it going in and out of the water. Uh, the other thing just to notice here is that this is adjustable. You can adjust it from the top. You can even be standing on the dock when you're doing it. Uh, it's pretty simple. No special tools required. Uh, it adjusts up and down. We have leg heights up to nine feet. Uh, and then this is the shortest one here. As you get to the bigger ones, they're braced in two directions, uh, which is standard, no extra cost. Uh, when the wheels go in the water, they actually have holes in them so that they will fill up. Uh, gives you extra stability. If you're real quick, as you put it in the water, the dock will actually kind of float into position and you'll get it set and get right where you want it to be. An ideal situation for a wheel-in dock is almost a spot that reminds you of a beach. Gentle slope, that's perfect. Uh, one of the things to really consider is that uh, when you put that dock in, if you've got independently, independently adjustable wheels like we have, you can uh, set it up and level the dock. A lot of brands, the wheels go up and down as a unit. You get in position and the dock's off level and that's definitely not what we want. Uh, you might ask where is a wheel section not so great. Uh, if you're in heavy muck, you have a bunch of large rocks that you need to push over. Uh, you're probably better off just getting a standing dock that you can easily carry in and out in those situations. Similar issue is we mentioned uh, that we've got all the weight here uh, on the wheel for stability. That's great, but as you bring it into the uh, side of a big wall, then you're going to have to pick it up and carry it over that, and that's not ideal. Uh, also, if you have a spot where you can wheel it in, but you have no storage and you've got to bring it up either an embankment or stairs, uh, you'd be better off not having the weight of the wheels. Another factor is really the cost of the wheels. They do cost more than just having a standard heavy duty leg that Shoremaster makes. Uh, and the problem with uh, that is that you're maybe paying for something you can't use, particularly if you're paying somebody else to put the dock in and out. Last consideration with the wheels is that uh, you may not be able to make the exact configuration that you would like to make. Uh, we have a wide variety of standing dock from Shoremaster with curves and all kinds of things to make use around hoist. It's a little more difficult if you're kind of making it just a wheel in section. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to call us at the number below. Also, you can uh, fill out your dock interest form. We will get back to you and we can actually go out and see at your property whether a wheel system makes sense for you. Thanks again. I'm Pete from Brinson Marine.